UFC lightweight division bout. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash in front of this young fighter here tonight. You got to think he's trying to figure out how best to get this fight to the ground and use his ability to pass. This guy cuts the guard with the best of them. Great technique, but also a plus athlete. And he's not afraid to lean on that athleticism and do some unorthodox things to better position himself on the ground. This guy has tremendous ground technique and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. sound defensive fighters that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them gets the head off the center line uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense and he stays so relaxed in there Joe because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles very very smart sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Third round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines. The Executioner! And now the producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the King! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. And we are underway. And he connects there. Tagged him. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Almost hits him with that left hook. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Right hand upstairs. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moves right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Good shot. Unable to connect with the right hand there. That one hurt. Punch his block. Oh, there he connected. Tags him. And another kick. Oh. 
Double jab. Oh, Joe, that cut is getting worse. Rated R looking nasty now. Straight right hand, no good. Nice shot. And he's teeing off. Oh, nice little... Oh, he hurt him. over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. How about that chin? Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Hit him with a jab. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Big hook. Hit him with that straight left there. The kick lands. Nice straight left. There it is again. Straight right, he misses. Oh, double jab. Watch the shot here, Joe. And there he swung with a haymaker. And that one certainly found the target. And now that jab's starting to get established. Tagged him. And he gets tagged. Nice combination, Joe. Back to over under control. And separate. He's fainting with that kick. And he connects there, Joe. Four oh, sounds for the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact. And blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Breathe, relax, slow that heart rate down. It's okay, we expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. All right, second round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Oh, he continues to effectively use his jab here, much like he did in the previous round, Joe. Back and forth we go! He's got good accuracy oh. on that jab. He tagged him again. here for the win. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Caught him right there. Had him in all sorts of trouble. Check out this angle here. Oh, man. K.O. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by so there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joe. He gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight, and he has set himself up. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement 
to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. It's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense. Consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. For the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, the executioner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the King! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, we are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And lands a good shot. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh! for that left lands the kick to the body there how about that shin welcome to the jungle well he leaned right into that hit shot joe and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward i know he's confident in his chin but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook nice combination there oh, he Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. 
He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check it out here. Boom! And that is all she wrote. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the executioner. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big...